is happening now. The man accused of killing a church's chicken employee and severely injuring two others in Otay Mesa is in court for a preliminary hearing. ABC 10 News reporter Marie Cornell shows us what's happened in court so far. The prosecutor says she plans to call six people to testify. We've already heard from one witness, a woman who was at the drive through at the time of the shooting, and she described seeing a shooter pointing a gun at employees. Um, we drove across the street to the Arco gas station. Other than the initial shots that you heard that you thought maybe were fireworks, did you hear anything else? Yes. What else did you hear? We heard a couple more shots. When you heard those couple more shots, were you looking at the person? That was when I was looking at the person. What did you see? Him shooting a couple more shots towards that way of the kitchen. The defendant, Albert Blake, was also in court and didn't show much emotion as he listened to witnesses describe what happened in November of 2019. Blake is accused of shooting three employees inside of this church's chicken restaurant in Otay Mesa killing Maribel Ibanez and seriously injuring two others. Investigators say this all started when Blake tried to use a fake $100 bill to pay for his food. And witnesses say he became angry when Ibanez wouldn't accept it. They say Blake left but returned 10 minutes later and started shooting at employees in the restaurant. The woman who was at the drive through says after hearing the shots, her and her husband drove off. She says she saw the shooter leave and they came back to help. What did you do next? Drove back to the church chicken. And why did you go back there? Because I knew they got hurt. So what was your purpose in going back there? To see if they needed help. Also expected to uh, be called to testify is a little girl that was inside of the restaurant at the time of the shooting. The prosecutor says this will likely be an all day thing. And then at the conclusion of this, the judge will decide if there's enough evidence to move forward with the trial. Reporting from Chula Vista, Marie Cornell, ABC 10 News.